I think we need to talk to all the developers out there who have been very comfortable with their jobs, thinking that our jobs are secure for the next 10, 20, 30 years and we can always earn above average salaries, I have bad news for you. Things are about to change and these bad news go especially to front-end developers. Yes. I'm not sure how closely you're following the AI field, but things are getting exponentially fast. Meaning, things that took us 10 years to come up with or to create are now taking us much, much less. Just by looking at the GPT-4 model, we can see that it doesn't only get more accurate, but it also gets more capabilities. For example, the presenter had a sketchbook where he sketched a simple joke website with a couple of texts that he wrote by hand and a couple of boxes, and the AI was able to speed out a code with HTML and CSS to style this kind of a website. If you think that this is too basic and you, you think that nobody's gonna buy this website, well, as I told you, things are going exponentially fast, so this is gonna improve probably within this year. Another point was with Python, where the Python code was able to debug itself by feeding itself the error that it produced. This is just mind-blowing. So the myth that AI is not able to validate its own prediction is also wrong, because as we saw, it did debug its code that it produced. On the other hand, humans are also not perfect in validating their own predictions. One counter-argument that I would still accept is that models or AI models cannot build fully blown applications. Another counter argument that I often hear is that, well, we already had these things that can generate code for a while. For example, even in Figma, you can just generate the code from the mockup that you've built. This is true, and it still didn't replace front end developers. Another counter argument is that, well, accountants didn't get replaced by spreadsheets, or painters didn't get replaced by cameras, or did they? So if it's not a full replacement, then what is it? Well, probably automation, as we already have with GitHub Copilot. It automates a lot of code that we're writing, but it's still not perfect. And now again, the question is, when is it gonna get perfect? And my prediction is somewhere around five years from now on. So if you think about all of that topic from a bird's eye view, you can notice some patterns. It's called change cycle. Just like in every field, also in software development, we have change cycles. Change cycles happened when browsers were invented. Change cycles happened when we came up with ES6 in JavaScript. Change cycles happened when we got dynamically typed languages and so on. So things are changing in software developers and our job is of course to adapt. But I still feel like this is gonna be much, much bigger than a simple change cycle. So after all of that rant, what is my solution to you as a front-end developer? Well, I'm pretty sure you've already heard this saying somewhere, and it goes like this. Don't put all of your eggs into one basket, because they're gonna break. What I'm trying to say is that you need to diversify your skill set, just the way you would diversify your stocks when you buy them. So one of the things that AI is still limited in, at least again for the next five years, is empathy towards customers. Even if it if it if it's able to talk nicely, when we think about front-end development, it's not able to optimize the UX and UI for specific use cases of your application. So it's not able to come up with user-friendly and aesthetically pleasing mockups for your customers. So this is one way of developing yourself. Learn more about UX and UI and maybe something about the design if you're just a front-end developer who can code in JavaScript only. A different way is, of course, getting slowly into backend, maybe becoming a full stack developer, because I think there's a higher chance that AI is gonna take over the front end field than a back end field. And last but not least, if you cannot beat them, then join them. What I wanna say try to learn machine learning, statistics, calculus, AI. Just get into this field by taking some courses, watching YouTube videos, and then you're gonna be more or less onboarded into this field and know what's happening there. And in case if you notice that you have enough knowledge and motivation to switch into, for example, the data science at some point, you can always do that and you don't have to worry that you're gonna lose your job. So these were just my assumptions as a developer and my suggestion for you as a subscriber or a fellow developer so that you can just make up your own mind from whatever I told you. 
for the last five minutes. I guess I'm gonna see you in the next one. And if you're still interested in how AI can automate your code or your development process, make sure you watch my co-pilot videos.